Hi, I'm Janjumil P. Speo, an OB senior clerk from Cebu Institute of Medicine. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the steps of normal vaginal delivery and unang yakap. Here we have patient AB, G4, P3, 3003, pregnancy uterine, 37 weeks AOG, and second stage of labor. IE findings show dilatation of 10 cm, effacement 90%, consistency soft, position anterior, and station plus 2, with a bishop score of 13. She is now ready to give birth. Put the patient in a dorsal lithotomy position. Encourage the mother to synchronize her pushing efforts with her uterine contractions. Idungan imo pagutong mam inigahe si mutian. Sige, sige, push, push, sige, kana, very good. Push. Once you see the crown of the fetal head, use your lower hand to support the perineum and the upper hand to maintain flexion of the head and guide or control the fetal head to avoid expulsive delivery. As the head start to emerge, it will naturally extend. Push the perineum of the baby's face to deliver the fetal head. Check the fetal neck to determine whether it is encircled by one or more umbilical cord loops. The baby will then externally rotate, bringing the shoulders along the anterior posterior line. The sides of the head are grasped with two hands and gentle downward traction is applied until the anterior shoulder appears under the pubic arm. Next, by an upward movement, the posterior shoulder is delivered. After delivering both shoulders, place your hands on the baby's body gently lifting it upward and use both hands to catch the baby. Baby out 12-12 a.m. After delivering the baby, the steps of unang yakap commence. The first step is an immediate and thorough drying using a clean dry towel. Do not remove the vernix. The second step is establishing early skin-to-skin -skin contact. Place the baby on the mother's chest in a prone position, with the head tilted at the side. The third step is proper cord clamping and cutting. Once the pulsation stop, usually after 1-3 to three minutes, place the cord clamp at 2 cm from the baby's abdomen and another at 5 cm. Cut the cord between the clumps using sterile scissors. Observe for oozing of blood and check if the cord has 2 arteries and 1 vein. Give oxytocin 10 IU intramuscularly to the mother to prevent uterine atony. The fourth step is non-separation of the baby from the mother and breastfeeding initiation. Cover the baby with a blanket and a bonnet. Counsel the mother on feeding cues and encourage breastfeeding. Now we proceed with placental delivery. The uterine size and consistency are examined by palpation. If the uterus remains firm and there is no unusual bleeding, watchful waiting until the placenta separates is the usual practice. Observe for signs of placental separation. After ensuring that the uterus is contracted firmly, pressure is exerted by a hand wrapped around the fundus to propel the detached placenta into the vagina. As the cord lengthens, rotate the umbilical cord around the clump. The umbilical cord is kept slightly taut but is not pulled. Concurrently, the heel of the hand exerts downward pressure between the symphysis pubis and the uterine fundus to prevent uterine inversion. Once the placenta passes through the introitus, pressure on the uterus is relieved. The placenta is then gently lifted away. Use a placental basin to catch the delivery of the placenta. Check if the delivered placenta is complete and intact. Examine for any missing placental segments. Examine the perineum for any lacerations. Now we have pair baby CB, male term appropriate for gestational age weighing 3000 kilograms. Thank you for watching.